Hello scientific people, how are you today? Today we are going to discuss about X-rays and its properties. So X-rays are they are electromagnetic waves of very short wavelength. electromagnetic waves of very short wavelength. Its wavelength range is from that is the lambda is from 0 0.1 angstrom to 1 angstrom. This is the wavelength range of the x-rays and x-rays that travel with speed of light. in air actually light is a word uh, that is a general word even x-rays are also light but they are invisible to us so we humans can only see the light waves if the wavelength ranges from 4000 to roughly 8000 angstrom so we can only see those waves whose wavelength is in between this so the wavelength of x-rays are way too smaller than what we can see so these are actually the invisible light which we cannot see and they travel with this much speed in the air then x-rays they cannot pass through bones It cannot also pass through high density objects because they get absorbed inside the substance. So they actually affect the photographic plate as well and then I am going to come back to this point again. Photographic plate is generally white in nature like this sheet and turns black when x-rays falls on it. So what do you mean by photographic plate? So this is also uh, uh, an example of a photographic plate. This is the uh, camera roll that we used to uh, use long back. Nowadays it's a, it's a digital word so uh, long back we used to fit this in our camera so this is also an example of a photographic plate in the same way when we go to doctor for uh, bone checkup the x-ray plate or the photographic plate is just white like this and assuming that this uh, uh, phone is uh, is an x-ray machine and the x-rays they fall like this on my hand now what happens is the x-rays they cannot pass through my bones they get absorbed inside my bones and wherever the x-ray is going to touch the photographic plate the white color becomes black so the x-rays cannot pass through my hands through my bones so the portion of the photographic plate which is just beneath the bones are going to stay white whereas x-rays are falling everywhere over here and that turns black so what happens is if there is a very small crack in the in the bone the the x-rays they escape through those cracks and they fall on the photographic plate turning it black so x-ray becomes very easier for doctors to analyze the defect in the bones or the cracks because if there is a crack in the bone then entire photographic plate is going to turn black when x-ray touches over there and the bone part remains white because the x-ray do not allow sorry the bones do not allow x-ray to pass but if there is a small crack the x-rays will pass through the crack turning the photographic plate under to be black so in a white background if there is a small black line that means there is a hairline crack so this is how it works okay and next is next property of the x-rays 
does not get deflected by magnetic and electric field. So, if you have, uh, if you have suppose two plates, one is positive, another is negative, and if X-rays are passing like this, X-rays are electromagnetic waves, and electromagnetic waves they always travel in a straight line. You can also consider the photon nature of the X-rays. So, when X-rays they pass through electric field, electric field is only capable of bending those substances which are charged, whereas X-rays are photons or electromagnetic waves they are neutral so electric field cannot bend or magnetic field also cannot bend those substances which are neutral so x-rays are neutral to both electric as well as the magnetic field now on the basis of the energy of the photons of the x-ray we can divide x-ray into two parts soft x-rays Soft X-rays are those X-rays whose energy is less than 10 keV and hard X-rays are those X-rays whose energy is more than 10 keV, kilo electron volt. Now this soft X-rays are those x-rays which we which doctors use for detection of any kind of cracks in the bones so this normally is used to find cracks in bones etc so for mostly the medicinal use doctors use this x-rays now the hard x-rays are very strong x-rays and they are capable of damaging the body also so these are used mostly you might have seen in the airports for the scanning when we put our bags they go undergoes x-ray scan so they are hard x-rays so they are used to examine the baggages baggages and they are also used to kill cancer cells because they are highly energetic they are capable of destroying the cancer cells as well so this is a very short uh, introduction on x-rays and its properties so guys hopefully you like my explanation and do subscribe to my channel if you have any doubts please comment in the comment section thank you guys for watching the video